Hi. Hi, everyone. It's Anne and Jen. And Hi. we're going to give you guys a second to like pop in before we get started. But we are crafting today, crafting and chatting. And yep. we're going to be making an umbrella. We're using the umbrella die cut from yep. Diva. And do you already have a project, Jen, that you can do? I do. Do I'm actually going to grab it. I totally forgot to grab it. So. Oh, my. I know. I wish we could zoom. So this is mine. But... And I love oh, how this turned out. So cute. Now, I actually did a base for this, and I haven't even attached it yet. Uh -huh. I was kind of playing around with it, and I was thinking about doing a smaller version of the top portion. Um, but it didn't really seem stable. That's yep. how I came up with the rosette bottom. And once you put it on there, it's actually pretty stable, even without me hot gluing it to the bottom. Yeah, I am okay. going to do it. Yeah. Hi, Zeta. Hi, Claudia. Okay. And um, can you guys hear us? Well, before we get started, all right. just want to make sure. All right. Hi, Gwen. Uh, let's see. I think. Okay, good. Sounds like everybody can hear us. We can kind of get good. started. Okay. okay. I've got, I think I've got, I know it's, it's so messy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mine I'm too. Trying. Don't feel bad. Okay. I, I kind of separated everything. I, um, yes. I just cut it today. So, okay. um, I did, I did an orange base because I was worried about using just the printed, um, you know, the, the 10 for $2, uh, yes. piece at Joanne's like the open cardstock mm -hmm. with the printed cardstock. I was worried that it's too, um, too light. So sure. I decided to cut my base on basil paper and then the inserts I cut, um, in, you know, like a cute little pattern. That's exactly what I did too. Okay. I'm using, um, it's a koala photo paper for my printed paper and oh, it so actually you... does give it a pretty bit of stability. Well, koala paper, I mean, it can be kind of heavy. Yes. Um, so you actually designed your your print and then you cut it, you cut that? This is a digital collection. Um, it's Round Trip from Maggie Holmes. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. I, I do a lot of digitals. Very, very rarely you do did? I buy paper okay. in the store. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yes. I, I do all of my own printing, mostly. I never do. Yes. Okay. I, I just find I it so much I... cheaper. A lot of um, digital collections contain the ephemera too. And I like to size it myself. So it, it ends up being the more cost effective option for me. And now I'm hooked on koala paper ever since I met you. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, All right. let's get started. Oh, you know what? I have a question for you. Okay. Sure. So this die cut is from Scrap Diva. Yeah. And. I know that this one right here, if you guys can mm -hmm. see, this is the, uh, I guess I'll call it the shell of yes. the, you know, uh, the, the uniform, the umbrella. Now the inserts though, these two, they look very similar, but yes. I know they're different sizes. So the larger one is going to go on the outside of your umbrella. The smaller one is going to go on the inside or the opposite side. That's now, what I thought, but I'm yes. playing around with it. I could barely tell the difference and I didn't notice it at first. So I don't even know what I cut. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I was kind of playing with it when I first got it and you can use either or you can reverse it. It does fit a little better if you use the small one on the interior, but um, you could you could use either one of them. Just pick a side, honestly. Okay. Um, you well, are shoot, going to want cut to cut eight. this eight times. I did cut the okay. outside eight times and I cut the inserts only eight times. So I guess yes. I should have cut it 16, well, eight and eight, right? Yes. So I didn't yes. do that. <laughs> but that's okay because okay. I already um, started gluing most of mine just to save a little time. And I am going to show you guys how to put it together because it does come with a couple different uh, layering pieces for it. So there's this one that has like the doily edge to it. And then yeah. there's also the heart one that I had used on my original one. And yeah. you have to glue those together. So I actually glued it to the base. I flipped it over. I'm using basil too. So uh -huh. it's, um, um, 
textured on one side. So right. I have my uh, flat side facing up. And then I used Barely Art for this. Um, I like liquid glue with these kind of projects because um, a lot of glues will add a little bit of heft to it. Like if you're using a thicker glue, which is yeah. exactly what you don't want. Oh. And then I just lined it up and there's um little, like the arrows at the bottom, not really arrows, but the tabs, you can see how it all lines up so that you get- Oh, so we're gluing them right now. Yeah. Okay, we're gluing yes. them. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And then you just want to bring your top tab and glue that down as well. And all I did was glue my pattern paper right to that same edge of the original um, like base piece. And you that way you know it's going to line up well on each one. Okay. Hi, everybody. I know everyone's still joining. Yeah. So hopefully you guys have something to craft along with us. I know this die yeah. was so popular and that uh, it sold out. So yes, I don't it did. have any updates to that. Um, she usually gets them back in stock really quickly when she does sell out of it. Oh, okay. So it should not be too, too long. And then I, I did do the tabs. And then once I was done with the tabs, I did a little bit of curve on the paper with my bone folder. Oh, gotcha. And that'll help when you're putting it together. Okay. And all I did was the front piece. You don't want to add the back until we've actually put the umbrella together because you want to cover those tabs. Okay. All right, Jen. Now I'm going to do okay. my best. <laughs> You got this. And uh, you just continue with your okay. instructions. I will try. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're um, putting these together, I did just one tab at a time. Mm -hmm. You really want to make sure that these are glued on well before moving on to the next tab because right. um, it'll fall apart if you don't. Oh, gotcha. It's a lot of weight to it. It's a big project. Like, um, put together, I think I measured this out at, um, I think it was 12 inches tall and seven inches wide. So no it's, it's a big oh project. Okay. Yeah. It's really big. I'm so That's what kind of makes this like, cool. You can't really tell what I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a big guy. So I'm just moving on to that top tab and lining everything up. So do I, you, when you're doing your umbrella, are you doing, when you're doing the tabs, mm -hmm. are you doing the top tab, like where it's a triangle, like a tip, or do you do the bottom one first? I'm doing this one first, the bottom oh, that's, edge. That's, okay. yeah, at the point, essentially. The narrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. I found you have a little better, um, I don't know, movement with your fingers when you start with the tip and then kind of yeah. move your way up as you're moving. Okay. And then I also found it was easiest for me to start gluing my backside as I'm um, putting the pieces together. That way I didn't have to go back in um, once it's already put together and put all of these in. Okay, so I'm just gluing the little ends to them. Um, yes. And I found a really cool tool. So, yes. and I kind of talked about it before on another live, so I don't know if you guys have already caught it, but this is from um, Excel. And you know, I love, I love my tools from Excel. I, mm -hmm. This is my favorite tool from Excel, the pink, the little pink blade. Yeah. Okay, so they have, well, you know, you guys kind of turned me onto it. Um, they have the self or the reverse tweezers, um, which I have somewhere. Where did I put it? Shoot. Um, oh, it's here. It's on my desk because I was using it. Okay, 
So they have these reverse tweezers, right? And I want to oh. show the difference between this one and the Cricut one. Okay, so, but look at how long this tip is. So it can actually like, you know, like I just did this one, right? So let me move this closer. Yeah. I can hold, I can now put this down and look, it's holding that whole edge while nice. it's being glued. And so it's kind of nice because it gives it like, it's drying, yeah. you know, like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be structurally sound. And then Absolutely. look at the difference between the, the tips. Because like, yeah. here's the Cricut one and the Cricut one's like, mm -hmm. like one fifth of it, if that, right? Yeah. And so this is so nice that it holds it together. And I want to say, I forgot how much it is, but I want to say it's like $11 or something. So and this <laughs> This one, I, I, I'm in love with it. So I just wanted to share that. Absolutely. I'm <laughs> probably going to go buy this because you know that we can't hang out together. <laughs> <laughs> we are very expensive friends. So I have a couple other tools like while we're doing this one that I think is really cool. So, you know, I'm new to die cutting, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, but Claudia is asking, what is the name of the seller of the umbrella die cutter again? It's Scrap oh. Diva. And then, uh, oh, M Monica, sorry. I haven't been keeping up with the comments, Jen. This one's for you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Are there any insights you can share to find nice digital paper? Well, um, I go to a few different places for my digitals. So I like to use AC Digitals a lot. Um, and these are all like what I like about them. They're the same papers that you can buy in the stores too. It's American crafts paper, which is actually a pretty popular, uh, pattern paper company. Um, I also use snap click supply and I have really gotten into creative fabrica. Creative fabrica has some amazing digital paper. I was waiting for you to say them. Yeah. You know, I love <laughs> Fabrica. <laughs> and uh, they have a trial period. So I think um, I think you guys should try it and just see. I love Creative yes. Fabrica for the fonts. Um, mm -hmm. And for, yeah, like when I need to print something, um, I do like going there. I'm not as good about going there for you know the digital printing but mm -hmm. there are so many options yes i fell in love with creative fabrica i tried them free too but i think it was the very next day that i ended up buying a <laughs> subscription to it you didn't even wait for your trial period no <laughs> no <laughs> you're such a I'm sucker <laughs> <laughs> yep hooked yeah. So if you, um, if you use the link that I think Celeste just posted up there for Creative mm -hmm. Fabrica, um, that's my link. And then if you, that, if you get to the end of your trial period and you like it, you do get 30% off of your subscription every month. So I, um, totally appreciate all yeah. the support whenever you use my links. So that's awesome. And then the no reversible idea. tweezers are from Excel blades. Okay. So while we're talking about Excel blades, can I show you one more super cool tool? Yes. there? Okay, so you know how like when you cut on your die cut or even your Cricut and sometimes mm -hmm. you don't get a very clean cut, but it cut enough where you don't want to throw it away and start over, but then you also don't want to, you know, you get stuck doing it. Sure. Um, I left it on my other desk. I'll be right back. Okay. So I, to speed up the process, I had actually glued a few of these together. So uh, you're going to see me go from like four to eight of them very, very quickly. But as this piece gets larger, you are going to find that it gets a little more difficult to work with. And that's when I kind of started using my, the edge of my desk for this instead of keeping it in my hands. Just make right. sure that it's lined up. I found my tool and okay. this one is, it's $7. Okay. Okay. It's, um, it's for your index finger. So sorry, let me make sure you guys can kind of see it. Um, both okay. So you stick your finger in like this and you have so much control over it. 
that you can easily get out little things. Like it curves, like look at how easy that is. Is that a blade? Yes, there is a blade at the end. Look at, oh wait, I don't know if you can see it better like this. Yes. But it goes like your finger wraps around it. So um, what did I cut the other day? It was one of my, oh here, it was this thing. This was like this little planter thing from JB, Hey JB Designs. Okay. And you know, that nursery that I was doing. Mm -hmm. So look at, look at how diff, like it just, my how cricket just didn't cut it that well. Right. Yeah. So I just went in and I was able to follow the wavy lines and it took me no time because I had so much control over it. So anyway, yeah. I just, you know, it's a super, it. super cool tool. I absolutely That's love it. Great. I know I'm like full. And then my last, can I give one more? Yes. <laughs> this is for die cutting. Give me a it's, shopping list. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, I love my glue holder, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So this is from also from Whimsical Wish Wishes. And it um, it's this little stand, right? So it's like my little Hello Kitty stand. But this whole piece is a magnet. So it will pick up all your die pieces. So look at I that. Like it was so fast, right? Like it just picks up. Yeah. So like if you have all the small pieces, you're going to want that. So this is Love really it. cool. Um, I just saw, oh, Claudia, the link for the tweezers. Um, It's from Excel Blades and I do have a code for you. Um, I think it's just the, oh, there it is. Uh, Celeste is so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to just search for self-close or reversible tweezers and you'll see. Um, it's, there's a few of them, but there's one where the blade, like this holding piece is super long. I have a few of them, but there's one that's like really long and I like both. Okay. All right. So I've got all these, <laughs> I'm going to start, I'm going to glue my first one and I'm going to use that, that self-closing tweezer. Cause I feel like it's going to be good. So you only, you attach just, you did all of the top ones, all of the points first, right? No, no. Yeah. I did the small or the the point, and then I went to the next tab on top of that. Okay, got it. And then I kept moving along section by section. Okay. So, um, and once I was done with a section, I put the back piece on, and that helps give it a little added stability too when you're um, creating this. I'm putting glue there. I'm going to add this on. And then, all right. Hi, Seanette. All right, so I've glued my little piece on right there, and then I'm gonna use my self, the self, the reversible tweezers, and I'm mm -hmm. just gonna hold it like that while that's drying. Look at how cool that is. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have the coolest reversible <laughs> tweezer, but I do have needle nose pliers, and you have definitely given me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, the reverse opening tweezers withstand that one. Yes, I think so. Um, let me pull it up on my other, de on my other desktop. Give me a second. Okay. I'm almost wondering if it, oh no, you know what? I didn't get the stand. Wow. Well, gosh, this, so there's one where there's an actual like stand for the thing nice. to stay open. Um, and it's $20. No, the one that I have is just the reverse open tweezers. Wait, no, that's not the one either. It's the large self-closing tweezers. It's $8 now that I'm on there. That's an even better price. Wow. I love it. Okay. Oh, Jen, when did you curl the, the umbrella? Curl it? Yeah. Before I, I started gluing. <laughs> so I glued my first time. 
That's um, okay. That's okay. okay. You could cur you could curl it at this point. You could. Okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, I think I still can. All right, let me see what I can do here. I know. I'm like, I feel like whenever I'm I'm doing this and trying to talk, like I'm I'm yeah. only half listening. So sorry. <laughs> Not a big deal. So I have mine together at this point. I have you're gonna have something that looks like a bowl, essentially, when I you're love done. That. I love your patterns. Thank you. So the bottom piece is gonna be the one that has the square in the center of it. And you are not going to want to attach that until you have your handle made. The handle is like really, really easy to put together. Um, just make sure that you're really using that bone folder to grab your edges out. And one of the tricks that I like to do is I will fold it flat and add the glue that way. That way you know it's symmetrical. So I have this down and I'm just going to put my glue on and then I just fold this over so that it's flat on the surface. I'm not even trying to make it the square yet. Okay. And Jen, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to turn off my, my phone camera mm -hmm. and see if that makes you look, you know, like your desk look better. Okay. You know, bigger. Sure. So I'm going to try this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here, I can bring my camera in a little. There we go. All right. So you have this. Now you're going to take that square piece and you're just going to insert it into, we're using the side with the smaller tabs. So we are going to put this in here. And then I used a mixture of hot glue and barely art for this portion. Um, I like doing a mixture of both because you get the instantaneous hold of hot glue, but the lasting hold of barely art. So I'm going to put the glue on my outside tabs. And then just a little bit of hot glue. And as fold the tabs over. Glue, my hot glue gun going. So when I get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have some questions. Let's okay. See. Um, will you girls have anything like this planned for Mother's Day and Father's Day? A mini craft along. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure we can. Yeah. Being specific just yet. So, Anne, did you get the purse die? Um, can you show me what that looks like? <laughs> uh, yes, or I can, yeah. you know what? I have it on my desktop. Give me a second. Let me go over there. Oh, actually, I cannot because my friend borrowed it. Um, the purse die, I can show you my finished project, though. So this is it? the purse die right here. And mm -hmm. I think this would be a fabulous Mother's Day. Oh, cute. You could put, put a little gift in card inside the card. wallet. There's a matching wallet. And Scrap Diva does have a Happy Mother's Day die. That's cute. You know what else yeah. is, um, it just made me think of that you can give the, the little purse with the gift card mm -hmm. or whatever. And then if you have those little Polaroid cameras, like you could take pictures and it can kind of be oh. like... For How Mother's cute. Day, right? Like Poppy's Mother's Day, your card, yes. and your gift, and your pictures. You know, you could even make this this wallet into like a little mini album that would be the perfect size for like the printable pictures out there. Instead of doing sides, you could just make it a little album to flip through. I okay, so I have to say I don't love the big purse. No, but that mini wallet is really cute. Adorbs. Yeah. Well, because I find that the purse, I, I don't know, like it doesn't feel like it's my. I'm not loving the whole look, like the. Do you know what sure. I mean? Sure. I get it. Um, but when you buy the die cut, it comes with both of them. 
Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, no, wait. Those are two separate ones. Oh, they are? Okay. Yes. All right. So then maybe I'll, I'll splurge and get, <laughs> and get that other one. Yes. Although, do you, how, many, how many purses have you made? Do you love it? Um, I've made three. <laughs> okay. Is it worth it? Absolutely. I love okay. the purse die. It's actually one of my favorites. It's one of my new favorites. Really? Okay. Yes. All right. Then I think I might have to give it a try. Like, okay. I, I just don't know my die cuts well enough to, to yes. say whether or not I'm going to like it. Okay. So at this point, I just used a little hot glue to put this in the center. And since you have the tabs folded over on the other side, it makes it a little added, uh, like stability in there and stuff. Okay. So moving on to this portion. So I've already pre-glued the pattern paper to it. And this is just going to make a square essentially, and then fold over the top like that. So you have this. Okay. So I started with the long piece. And once again, I just folded it flat that way. So, you know, it's symmetrical. I can't believe how big this project is. I love it. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> Um, oh, Claudia. Okay. So sorry. There's more questions. The tweezers, yeah. like the large self closing and which other one? I also like this one. It's the, um, index finger, the index cutter. I think if you type okay. in index, you'll be able to find it. Um, and what's the other thing that I really like from them? Hold on. You're going to want one more thing, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to want this too. They're, um, I know everyone has it yeah. already. You know, I got mine too. Tool. The difference with this one is that this one you can replace just the the weeder part. So it's okay. I'm gonna start switching over because you know you drop it and you the edges get dull and you have to mm -hmm. buy a new one if you're using Cricut. But this one you can you can actually just unscrew it and replace the the actual like just the the, the weeding part. All right. That's the end of my um, QVC portion. <laughs> um, Raquel has a question for you, Jen. What paper collection are you using? This is Maggie Holmes Round Trip. And even if you don't do digital collections yourself, uh, like I said, the digitals that I'm using today are actually available in stores too. I know, um, I think scrapbook.com has it and um, maybe even Joann's online. So all I did was close my tabs on this end and then I'm going to add a little hot glue to the top and just slide my top on. It's going to be a tight fit. You want it to be tight. Jen, do you have any tips for me while I'm doing this, The that long stand part? Because it's so long. Show me what you're... This. Yes. So when you do that, you're going to want to fold it flat and then do your tab that way. Don't try to make it a square right off the bat. Ew, that makes it so much yes. easier. <laughs> so much easier. Yes. Okay. I right. see. That way you can you can make sure that it's pressed. Yeah, down and exactly. Smooth. And you know it's going to be symmetrical that way too when you're doing it that way. So I've got my top on here. And then I've actually cut the top portion twice. So Ooh. this, this is the one that has that long thin line in it. Yeah. You're just going to fold this in half like that. And then your tabs are actually going to go out. So I just folded them like this. And then when I go to insert it, I'm going to fold them back down and then glue on either side like that. 
And you could use barely art. You could use hot glue for this portion. I'm going to do barely art. So Jen, for Happily Ever After, which one is your favorite project that you want to make? Okay, so I've really been into making paper flowers yes. ever since I caught the live of you and Deanie Weenie. Uh -huh. So I'm really, really excited to craft her project. Um, and a fun fact, I'm from Buffalo and Deanie's from Rochester. So yeah. we're like 30 minutes away from one another. Okay. Are, have yeah. you guys met up? Do you have plans? No, but I am going to reach out after this. Uh, she teaches at a place called the Rock Brainery. Uh -huh. uh, and it's just this cool little like craft collective that's in Rochester uh, that I've been meaning to check out. So I will actually probably see her at one of her classes that I'm going to take. Very. So did you make that um, that project from that live? I did. I, well, I did the flowers. I did not do the whole project. Uh huh. Um, it was a really cute tutorial. I, I really enjoyed it. I was following along for most of it. And yeah. um, here, you want to see my flower? It's sitting yeah, right here. Yeah, I do. So this is what I did. Uh, okay, so you have to turn that. it into a belt. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did, but I do. I love it. <laughs> I, do you have it? Because I want to see do. it. I do. So look. I so she turned hers into a headband. Oh my God. But I, love I it. turned mine into a <gasps> belt. And look, it is so sweet. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know when I would wear it, but like for a baby shower um, oh my you know, God. kind of thing. Um, I don't know. It's so, that would be amazing. It's so stinking cute. And then I you, love I just it. added a few leaves, but I, I love it so yeah, she, cute and her flowers are so pretty like it looks like they're a, gorgeous yeah love yeah it. i had a lot of fun with with that oh, so good. i'm really Bye. looking forward to that yeah um there was another one that i uh sarah sarah's project with the tree the base milestones. yeah oh i thought that was really really cute i probably won't make it a milestone i don't know what i'm going to do with it but I'm really, really excited to make it. <laughs> um, did you order the, the wood pieces? I actually have one at my house already. So I'm just going to use that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like the so, ones that she recommended. I, I ordered those on Amazon. Oh, okay. So I've already placed my top on. And this is what the umbrella looks like at this point. Super cute. Yes. Now, if you weren't making the basket, the way that I saw it was this piece right here went on top like that. But since I'm flipping mine over like that, I didn't want anything on the bottom. Got it. Got it. Okay. So uh, I do my base. Making my way through this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, well, I did cheat. I had a couple of them put together. Okay. So to make the base, all I did was cut two 12 by 12 inches of paper. And then I scored at half inch and accordion folded both sheets. And then you're just going to take some glue and attach them together end to end. And this is going to be a pretty generous size rosette. You could probably even get away with one two by 12 and then maybe a six inch sheet. But I wanted a little added stability to it. So I went with two 12 by 12 sheets. And just a reminder for everyone that's watching you guys are ready for Friday. So this Friday, Yay. we're starting Happily Ever After. So it's two days of crafting. Uh, we've got 12 projects. Mm -hmm. um, Jen, oh, do you want to show everybody your project? Yes. Okay. So 
We are doing some coffee and this originally started as a coffee and donut favor. So this right here is the original favor that I created. And this once again is a scrap diva die. Um, I use the coffee cup carrier. And if you're feeling a little extra, she also has a die in the shop that is just um, the cover for the I cups. Got it. I bought it. <laughs> um, absolutely love it. It's super, super cute. But I will be showing you, if you don't have that die, how to make your own cover. And it's really not that hard. So I did put on the materials list these little coffee cups. These mini coffee cups are available on my Amazon shop. Um, they fit perfectly inside this coffee carrier. And then we have are altering it so that there's a pocket in the back that will hold, for instance, here, donuts, or I did this one, which I did as a baby shower gift, and there's just a little pot of honey here, and then I did, like, the honey stir stick, and there's some tea underneath here for this okay. pocket. So that I'm going to show a couple different ways. That honey, is that an actual honey bottle that you bought from somewhere, or did you pour honey into your little container? So I'm not, I wanted to find a honey jar. I couldn't find a honey jar. <laughs> Did I so find your cover? <laughs> I just happened to finish. This is a makeup container. Um, I finished, <laughs> I finished it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it'll fit perfect. So I made my own wrap. This is just a little piece of fabric. And then I did a neato label for the stickers. Okay, so yeah. I I loved her so much. Okay, so here's the thing. Jen did a reel for this thing, right? And it's that it's that one um viral audio that's like, ooh, like this is at first I love this, but now <laughs> I love this more or whatever. It's it's cute for like two times, but I had to watch it like a hundred times. <laughs> What was she doing? Because I wanted to, to do my own version before yeah. you know, her her recorded session or her session. And so I had to watch it like a hundred times and then I <laughs> did my own. So a Tam Tam says makeup and sponges could work. Yes, this thing could be anything. Okay, so I took my little, um, last night I went to Beth Mo. <laughs> I love it. Because I wanted to make, you know, I wanted to do I'll like right a back. bachelorette version, right? So okay. this is my little thing that I came up with. So it's um, it's all silver. I don't know. Like it's more uh, like I was. I had like disco in my head because I'm doing that disco bingo thing. But this is what I have. Oh right? my god! I so love I it. This and I went to Bevmo to see like what can fit in here. And look, it, I found something perfect for it. It's a strawberry margarita. Okay, so it goes in here, and look, it fits perfectly. And then Oops. I. Um, I saw Jen's little trick that she's going to show us uh, during Happily Ever After. And I have all things strawberry in there. So I've got, because um, if you're like me, when I like to, I like to drink and I like to have um, something sweet to <laughs> like my little chaser. So I've got strawberry candy. I've got strawberry covered, um, I don't know, yogurt thingies like pretzels. And so that's one thing. The other thing that I was thinking is very much along the lines of the makeup and sponges. This little thing right here, I added, so I, I took that out. And then, you know, like the little pieces that you can, you know, put in here. So fill that up. And then I was thinking for a bridal shower or a bachelorette, like lip gloss and oh. like hand cream I have here. And the hand cream and then either... You can have the coffee or, you know, something, but I feel like this is just, it. it's so worth it. You can do so yeah. much with this. Um, and we're going to show you how to trick it. Mm -hmm. out. We'll judge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be her co-host on that one, but I love um, it. Yeah. So I'm super excited about that. So one of the things that we're going to do actually on this, on this uh, session is we're going to give away that die. So it's the coffee cup die from Scrap Yay. Diva. It's only um, in this raffle will just be people who already have a VIP pass. We will have a raffle on May 3rd for all VIP holders. So if you are still thinking about it and um, you know you want to do that, we've got really good prizes. We've got yeah. a, a Cricut mug prize. 
We've got like a shore bonder, like glue package. Uh, we've got a Cricut Joy, um, an HTV bundle, an Excel bundle. There are a lot of cool prizes. So in case the whole sessions aren't good enough, all right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and you needed more encouragement for $29, that's what it is. And um, yeah, it's going to be so fun. So anyway, um, oh, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you. It's the Craft Express Mug Press. Sorry, I'm so used to saying Cricut. <laughs> it's Craft Express. It's the one that I use now. So I use Craft Express. I don't even know what I was thinking when I said that. <laughs> So, so anyway, what ahead. is, what is this mug press? Tell me more about it. Okay. So the reason why it's a little bit better than the Cricut mug yes. press is that uh, it's self-closing and self-opening. So there's one button on there. So when you go to turn it on, um, you plug it in and then you turn mm -hmm. it on. And then once it's on, it will... Um, Sorry, let me just glue. I just put glue down. So give me one yeah. second. I get it. I know. I'm like, ah, oh, it's drying on me. Um, So once you turn it on and it heats up and it's ready, then it will open up for you. So then you'll hear it. And then you put your mug in. As soon as your mug touches all the mm -hmm. way at the bottom, it closes for you. And then it will open up when it's ready for you to pull it out. So it's, it's a little bit better. A lot better nice. <laughs> than the Cricut one. And that's the one we're giving away. <laughs> okay. I mean, there really has been some great prizes for the VIPs. We yes. gave away a switch. That's amazing. Yes. I know. I know. So all I did, once I have the rosette made, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to it right around uh -huh. this. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing right around this and press down. And you have your umbrella basket. Well, it's a good thing for everybody on. If you have nothing to do today, I'm only like yes. a third of the way through. <laughs> <laughs> It actually comes together quite easily once you started once you start doing the first one or two yeah. and get the feel of it, it goes a little quicker. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna take the time to finally glue this down. So I want to hear from you guys, those that are on that have the VIP pass, because I know if you only have the, the free pass, you get two projects and it's my project mm -hmm. and the Carolina's. So if you have the VIP pass, tell me now, who, who is it that you want? Yes. Which project do you want to do? Let's see, Raquel, what type of paper do you print out your digital uh, digitals on, Jen? I do Koala Matte and I love oh, it. Yeah. You like matte. Okay. Yes. Do you ever use the glossy? I have used the glossy. I prefer the matte for most of okay. my projects. But I think it's because of the color choices that I usually make. I have a tendency to go for more um, pastel -y colors. Yeah. Um, if I went more bright, which I know I have been working with a few bright ones lately, um, I might choose the glossy over that, but the pastel -y, I just really like how the, the matte works with it. No, that makes sense. Yeah. So this is my umbrella basket completed. And if you look at the original one, I just did this rainbow on the back. I created a digital file in Cricut for this. I use some heat transfer vinyl along with um, just multi-layers. And then uh, this too is a bow from Scrap Diva. This is one of her new ones. And I really, really like this. And this collection is um, Blooming Wild from Paige Taylor Evans. And you can find that at AC Digitals. Same thing with this Maggie Holmes one. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you can find the digital collection at AC Digitals. 
just the last. I know you're still on. Can you pick a winner for me, please? Yeah. So, Anne, what um, yes. what's what project did you want to do? Um, happily okay. ever after. So, I really want to do the the Carolinas project. Yeah. Because it's got movement, and you know, mm -hmm. there's that. And then I'm really looking forward to ours because yes. I want to see how. So. You know, I rigged this, but I really want to see how mm -hmm. you changed it and added yeah. to it. Because if you guys know the, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, the coffee cup holder is just this piece right here. But mm -hmm. with the same dies, um, I saw from Jen, like we were able to add on this yeah. little piece and she did it two different ways, which, you know, you saw just mm -hmm. 10 minutes ago or whatever. Uh, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how we do that. And then the other one also that I really want to do is, um, since she just posted it, Senya's 3D letters were so mm -hmm. stinking cute. Yes. So I want to do that one as well. And I'm really excited to do your project too. I really, really like how you played with texture with that. I love You that. have a way with that. Well, so um, Celeste will be like, she kept pushing me. <laughs> She's on. I originally wanted to do the big old like acrylic wedding sign. And then she's mm -hmm. like, no, you've already done it. And she just kept like saying no. And I'm like, why are you saying no? Like it's a good <laughs> project. And I think people will like it. And she just kept like pushing and pushing and pushing. <laughs> and then um when I finished this one though, I love it. So I'm so glad that she did. And she, I don't know, she just knows me. She's like, you'll just be that much more excited about it. And I just love it. So can I show you guys real quick? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So uh, there are a couple of things that I really like about this project. Uh, one is that I kept the colors really simple. So mm -hmm. let me switch over the view. Give me just one second. Okay. Gorgeous. So, I kept the colors really simple. It's white, blue, pink, and gray, um, silver gray. Um, cute. And there are only two images on here. It's the hot air balloon, and it's mm -hmm. the same hot air balloon. Uh, I just used different colors for it and different sizing for it, mm -hmm. and just the clouds. So it's just two things and two fonts. So really, there's four yeah. elements in this thing, but I just love how it looks. Like I love it's it. Just um, and, you know, there's no filter right now. And you can see, like, with the cardstock colors, too, and the, mm -hmm. the cardstock choices. I just, I don't know. I love it. So, it's and then I use that I in, um, some embossing folders as well. Because if you look at the colors, they're really simple. But there's just mm -hmm. like a little detail to it. So, uh, yeah, I, it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Now, did you do that on foam board, too? I, yes, just like my off the mat, because I felt yeah. like it was still like um, that, yeah. that element to it. So yeah, it's on a foam board from the Dollar Tree. And, um, you know, I use my Excel blade to cut it and all that stuff. Nice. Markeisha, are you on? That would be awesome if she was on as well. But yeah. that's who is winning the die set. So we're going to send Yay. that out. And hopefully you should get it in time to do the project if you haven't. Um, hmm, I feel like... Um, Celeste, do you think you could reach out to her really quickly? Just send her an email and ask if, um, in case she already bought it, then she could get a different die set. Yeah. But if she hasn't, then we'll send the coffee cup one. That's awesome. Um, all right. Let's see. Anne will always have you getting VIP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where is the SVG for the hot air balloon? So Claudia, the hot air, my project is, okay, so if you uh, if you are a Cricut user, then it's just a design space. It's ready to cut. If you're a silhouette, there's no SVG file. I have a YouTube tutorial showing you so that you can use any image and kind of walk you through it. I know, I because I, yeah. It's an experience. <laughs> so I, um, because it's only the four elements, right? The hot air balloon, the clouds, mm -hmm. and two fonts. I, I'm, I watched you. I did a YouTube tutorial so that you could see how to do it. So if you, even if you're a Cricut user and you didn't mm -hmm. want to cut it, you want kind of want to like experience it and do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, there's a YouTube tutorial to for you to follow. All right. 
Oh, Kristen, yay, thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to make it again too. And it's been a while. So, you know, um, while we're putting it together too, it's going to be, everyone's going to kind of be able to, to play with the depth because we're just yeah. using barely our um, foamies, cubies. And so um, that's going to be up to you guys, like how much more, and you're, we're going to play okay. with the different hot air balloons. Uh, so yeah, it, it's going to be fun. Let's see. Oh, Seanette, you're so cute. No filter because you're amazing. Oh. Aww. <laughs> no filter because it's StreamYard too. <laughs> <laughs> if it was on Instagram, there'd be filters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm still I'm still getting there. Oh, but you're you know what there. I wasn't doing? I wasn't adding the, the inserts on the inside or the outside. That's okay. You can do it afterwards. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I love the rainbow paper. That's cute. And then I added, um, I did orange and yellow. I just wanted like a happy, Cute. rainy day kind of thing. It is very happy. All right, Jen, what else do you have for me? What's going on this is, week? This week. Well, um, actually, I am going to show this project that I created right now. The one that I was showing you. Uh, uh, and I've oh, gotten addicted to color pops. So color pops are kind of like an enamel um, paint almost. And I like to think of them as kind of a puffy paint. So I was showing her today what I did with some of these color pops. They were in my favorites box from last time. Like they're just a cool little like mixed media. Um, medium that I use a lot. But this is a little decoration that I made for my craft room made out of an acrylic frame from Dollar Tree. It's just one of the freestanding ones. And then I painted it up and I did some of the Barely Arts um, SVG files. These are free files over at Bar Barely Arts. And then just a couple of fonts that I created. And I just want to create the pretty things. I love how this turned out. Oh, it's really, really. I love it. Super fun. So I have a, I have a really fun week coming up, Jen. What, what do you have going on? <laughs> I have, uh, so I'm going to be in Ventura, California. Ooh. Um, on Wednesday and Thursday for craftcation. Nice. So, What's this uh, craftcation? Tell me all so, about it. I'm not sure myself. I okay. feel like, you know, I've been wanting to go. Um, well, you saw that I went to Alt Summit and yes. then now I'm going to this. Um, I just kind of want to, you know, because I'm a crafting influencer, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like it's, there's people always talking, you know, um, they have like little seminars and just meeting other people doing kind of the same nice. thing. So I want to learn and, and just see if there's anything that I'm missing. So that's why Fun. I'm going. And then every time I go to one of these things, I always have like really good connections yes. um, that you make. And so it ends up leading to something else. So part of me is going just to meet other people as well. Absolutely. Um, but then also to take some of those classes, like the workshops. Yeah. So nice. I'm looking forward to that. And then while I'm there, I'm actually seeing Claudia, I'm also seeing Kimmy mm -hmm. from Kimmy's Creatives. Nice. And then um, also, I don't know if Gina's on, but Gina from Buttercream Dreams. I'm excited to meet her because she, she's always on these uh, craft alongs. So nice. she's in the area. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to see her. And then on, um, I don't know if you saw my story, but do you remember last year that I had that um, fundraiser, that bingo, and I was we did yes. bingo at Tiffany's? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're doing it again this year, right? Nice. So this year, my table, each table has a theme, and we're all competing for, I know it's so ridiculous, we're competing for a bottle of champagne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we're all, you know, each table has a theme. So um, our theme is going to be like a disco roller skate theme. And so... Um, I had posted in my stories asking, you know, everybody like, yeah. you know, what should I do? And um, one of the, 
one of the followers um, offered, she had just had a 50th birthday like um, party for her husband mm -hmm. at a roller skate rink. So she says she has, she has everything ready for me. And so um, uh, we're going to meet up for lunch. And um, yeah, so she's going to give me all her disco balls and stuff. So it's going to be fun. So I'm meeting her. Amazing. And um, yes. And then also, do you remember Tamitria from Texas? She was at the workshop. She took all three classes. I think um, so, yes. So she's in the area where we're going to meet up for lunch. Uh -huh. So she's going nice. to come too. <laughs> That's awesome. I love yeah, that. So I'm excited to just kind of like, you know, meet and chat. And stuff. Absolutely. That's a great week. How long is the summit? The summit is actually all weekend. So it's Wednesday okay. through Sunday, but I'm going to go, I'm going to yeah. leave Thursday night because Friday is our craft along. So um, I'm definitely not missing out this time. And I'm, oh, this thing is big. I'm getting there. I know. Yes. Right? <laughs> it's, uh, tell me in the comments, anybody else making this with me? And I swear every time that we do these craft alongs, while you guys are making it, you guys mm -hmm. always finish so much faster than I do. <laughs> and uh, like when we finish everyone, I get the stories. Um, I'm tagged in on the stories and I'm like, oh my gosh, like you actually like legit finished a project. <laughs> well, I cheated and I had some of mine put together because I was worried about time. Yeah. Um, but it's a, like I said, it's pretty easy to put together once you've done, you know, a couple sections. It goes a lot quicker each time around. I was actually surprised at how quickly I got this together this time. But, um, and once you have the base done, the rest of it is really, really fast. Yeah, I'm almost there. Jen, you have some questions. Um, sure. Let's see, from Monica. I uh, love that scrapbook stand you did. Do you have tutorials or YouTube? Where can we I do. follow you to do your crafts? I do. Um, I have a YouTube channel, Jen Cassell. Um, I, I'm also on Instagram. I do most of my social media on Instagram, um, but most of my tutorials are on YouTube. There are a lot of tutorials on my channel. Um, I am on Scrap Diva's design team, so I do a lot of die cutting tutorials, but I do uh, Cricut a lot as well. So you'll find a mix of both on my channel. Um, and then Claudia, there's, yeah, I don't, I do not have a code for whimsical wishes. I just, um, I just always talk about their products because mm -hmm. I think they're genius. Yeah. <laughs> And I just really like supporting them. They're just Absolutely. the husband and wife duo. The mm -hmm. husband's an engineer. And so he does all his stuff on the 3D printer. And I just, I, I love that their yeah. products are really useful. I love my glue holder. Um, yeah, I, do too. I have the, the beehive one, but I really, really like your ice cream one too. And I will probably get it. Although I think I want the mint chocolate chip one. <laughs> that was pretty cute. I know. Yeah. I'm a mint girl through and through. Are you? Oh, yeah. I don't like anything mint. No. I mean, just peppermint, but only yeah. peppermint candy. Like, I don't like peppermint flavored anything other than like by itself. Do you do like peppermint mocha at Christmas time? No. <laughs> Oh, no, that doesn't he's still. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> I'm almost there. On the last one, do you have any recommendations? The last, okay. So that one is, it's a toughie. I'm not going to lie. Okay. You might even want to try maybe from the top down on that last one. Okay, I think I got it. I'm yeah, honest. and once again, use use your sur your work surface to yeah. um, make sure that that's really stable. Keeping it in your hands because it's so heavy at this point, it makes it more difficult. 
Tona says, I love this umbrella dot. I have made two so far. It's a lot of fun. Tell us what you what you did with it, though. Is it just an umbrella or did you put, um, I don't know, because I've yes. seen some really, really cool ones. Like you were going to put treats in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought about doing this as like a centerpiece for a baby shower. You could do oh, treats okay. and flowers kind of spilling out of it. It could be really, really cute. You could even do like a baby shower gift. Nice. Maybe put like a small teddy bear or something in there along with the card. Some um, like bath supplies and everything could go in there and wrap it up with a big bow. That could be kind of cute too. So Jan, I have a question for you. Okay. When you're doing this, um, does Erica give you instructions or do you kind of just look at it, cut out everything and, and know what you're going to do with it? So generally I can tell just by looking at a die what it is. I will say <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> so I had to reach out to another design team member because Erica was on vacation. I got the die and I just could not figure out what it was. Usually she has them up in the shop so I can just kind of look there and figure it out from there. This time they weren't out and I thought I was going to make a carrot with it. I thought it was a carrot die. It did look and like a I carrot kept looking die. at I, it and I'm like, yes, this is kind of a jacked up carrot. Yes. I need to figure this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So I reached out to another design team member and she had asked Erica what it was as well. And I got one of the pictures that Erica had taken of her original umbrella. That's so funny. But okay. yeah, I was going to make a jacked up carrot. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, let me check. Um, Claudia says, my best friend will love the Enchanted Rose Magnetic. She's on here watching too. Ah, cute. Yay. Okay, um, Jen, <laughs> can you Hi. tell me what I do with this little guy? And okay. My little circles. So that is your top. If you're making the basket, you're going to want to put it like right up here. If you're not making a basket and you just want it like sitting right side up, you can put it on this end. So that's going to get folded in half. Yes. And then you're going to fold the opposite way on those tabs. Those are tabs at the bottom. For this, going through my little mm -hmm. circle. Okay, got it. So fold those the opposite way and then unfold them and insert into the slot. Yeah. On that circle and then fold them over and put glue on the top so that they fold out here let me cut another one and i will show you i think i got it so we're gonna do this right oh you got it that's exactly what i did okay yep um but it goes oh it just goes on top yeah so if you're okay. just making the regular umbrella you're gonna want to put it at the top like that i put mine at the i guess this top you could call okay. okay. Um, so you have a question. Is it strong okay. enough to hold things for placing gifts inside the umbrella? I hear you. <laughs> I think you might be able to. You might want to double up on everything. You could do, um, instead of doing just singular pieces of the base layer, um, this die, I would double it up twice or use 110 pound cardstock for it and that would make it really sturdy uh you could also add some supports to the sides uh if you're putting it upside down you could insert some foam to make it a little more steady and you could cover it up too maybe just a small like quarter of an inch sheet of paper round it out and that would cover up your foam pieces because you don't really need this uh, portion if you're using it as a basket. Like, that's not really where the sturdiness comes from. Um, the sturdiness would be on the bottom. 
Tona says, I just learned something new. I put my top on wrong. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> um, this reminds me of, not that I've done it, but um, looking at the top, um, have you seen those 3D um, projects of the hats? Yes. It like the, the red hat ladies, I think they're called. Oh, I don't know. The red hat ladies are like a group of, of ladies that I think just go to lunch and be fabulous and wear like <laughs> crazy hats out. They're so cute. Okay. And you got a compliment from Shanette. She says, you make things look so easy. I agree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, uh, hold on. <laughs> you don't see the swearing off I camera. Have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's see. It's truly just the magic of, of video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, Tona. Yeah. She put the top on the bottom mm -hmm. because she was using it this way as opposed to yeah. this way. So it just depends on how you're going to do it. I'm actually exactly. going to put mine up like this. And use it yeah. as like just a, a little prop thing that I just yeah. uh so what else, Jen? What else? Well, I am really, really excited for happily ever after. Um are you working that day too? What's your work? I have schedule? to work for a few hours Friday morning, but okay. I will be on Friday afternoon as soon as I come home. And I have Saturday off, so I'll be on Saturday all day. But Yay. my friend Kristen is coming over. She's my craft buddy. And we'll probably be doing a whole bunch of the projects in real time on Friday. Oh, fun. Yes. Yes. I'm really excited for that. It'll be a really good time. I haven't had a good craft weekend in a while. And the weather's supposed to be crappy again, so I won't feel bad crappy staying indoors. Crappy as in heat wave or crappy as in cold weather? Uh, cold. Cold. Right? Okay. Northeast. I know we had a beautiful weekend. We had like 85, 90 degree weather all weekend, which is kind of a big deal for us. It's like two months early than what we get it. Uh -huh. But next week it's going to drop back down into the forties. So oh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. When I was in Pennsylvania, one of the days it was 80 something and it was humid. I'm like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't loving that either. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do get pretty humid weather out here on the Northeast coast. So it's not a dry heat like in Arizona and California. Do you come out to California? I've been to California, but not in a very, very long time. Okay. Not regularly for any reason. Well, when I come move into your basement so we can craft together, I will be living in California. <laughs> Oh, you we need to be neighbors. Oh, I would love it. Oh my gosh. Yes. You, you actually probably would not love it because I'd be asking you a bazillion no. questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, Claudia, let's see. No, Claudia, uh, yeah, she's asking because she, she was worried that you don't have a project for Happily Ever After, but her project is yes. it was this thing. It's, yes, it's the these topic. right here. I am doing the shower favors. And I, too, will have a bachelorette version, um, hopefully, by Friday. So uh, what are you going to do with that, you think, the bachelorette So version? my bachelorette version is going to be a mini, um, I actually have some hibiscus ginger beer along with a small vodka container in the back. And then I'll probably do some, like, cute little, I'll probably do candies of some sort, uh, cause I do agree with you. It's a good chaser for a cocktail, yeah. but I wanted to definitely do a cocktail themed one. And I thought about the bridal shower too. I had the same idea as you with a little mini bottle of lotion and lip gloss. That could be really, really cute for a bridal shower. Right? Or like catch up for your manicure. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I mean, there's so many things that you could put in there. And then I went to, um, I was at Creativation and do you know mm -hmm. Sarah? Sarah Creates, I think, or Sarah's Studios. Oh, I can't remember. But she put together these little kits, and it was like um, 
Altoids and band-aids and you know, like just like a little yeah, like, like perfect, like things that you want um in this little thing. So I think it'll be so cute, like with the with a drink and some yeah. lipstick. That would be really um, cute for like an emergency kit as well. Do it for all of like your bridesmaids in the wedding party, doing uh -huh. like a little emergency kit with a sewing kit. Um, oh, all toys, you know, like that could be kind of aspirin for the morning after. <laughs> I, yeah, I love it. There's when you did the, um, just the coffee and donuts though, that's so cute. Well, I thought that was a really cute way to end the night, like a sweet treat for the end of the night. You yeah. don't even have to do, um, fresh coffee in there i think it would be a really cute touch to hand to your guests as they're leaving a little shot of espresso and a coffee but you could even do um like coffee grounds on the inside like get a small package kind of mm -hmm. wrap it up on the interior as a way to give coffee and donuts for the next morning that sounds so good and yeah. coffee beans would smell so yum yes or you could do like all coffee coffee bean like coffee bean smell mm -hmm. like as a theme uh you, we have some uh some suggestions yeah a hangover kit from damaris <laughs> yes um that would require so i've heard coconut water is is really good for a hangover shawnette says vodka she's in <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. All right, let me see if we have any other, Celeste, do we have any other announcements? I think, oh, Tam Tam says so many possibilities, a teacher's gift. Yes. Oh, so cute, like a little gift card and some treats in there. I love that. Yes. Yeah, it was, um, I was surprised at, I'm surprised at how cute a four ounce little cup is to begin with because right? I can fill it up with so many things and it's just adorable. Like the size of the whole thing is very, very cute. And it what is. I love was what kind of paper did you use for that one? Because I didn't, um, I didn't open For the wedding one. or the baby shower one? Um, ooh, uh, I don't know. Talk to me. Talk so to me. the wedding, I used a Cartabella paper collection and mm -hmm. that too is another digital one. I'll give you a little close up on the green leaves. This was Spring Farmhouse, I believe. Um, and you can find that at Snap Click Supply. But this is a digital paper collection from Creative Fabrica. Oh, yeah. So and I did link it in my um, class supply list. But I really, really liked this um, Creative Fabrica set super cute yeah your colors were so stinking cute and the whole project was cute because it's just yeah. like, on theme um yeah. you know, a, a clay mini pot with a plant would be cute oh, that oh be a little succulent that would be amazing that is cute um but you know the other thing that i was really surprised about is how sturdy it is yeah like, it can hold well you guys saw so this is my mar strawberry margarita okay. and like it will hold it like I'm the thing doesn't yeah. collapse like it's very no, it, well it's, built. it's sturdy so let me show you another option that I did too with this guy now I did this a while back <clears throat> when the die oh, first came out I saw that so, I didn't realize it was yours Jen yes it's so, cute so this is it back to back as well I love this. This is one of my favorite projects that I've ever made, actually. And I did this cute little mini spoon. This is actually for um, gifting some, I wanted to put some beads, like wire wrapped beads and pom poms, just like little crafty gifts for a friend uh, inside. And then you have like the little mini spoons that I added some charms to. I love, love, love this project, but... That is so cute. Yeah. So how did you do the peppermint? Like what the is The peppermint? That, that this little is, candy thingy. This is a mini ornament from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yes. 
I won't it's go just there, a little it plastic yeah okay. I love it it's so cute yeah um wait you have a question um so Jen you printed the design from creative fabrica mm -hmm. onto cardstock no it's not cardstock it's um yeah. photo paper her paper from koala yeah and let me see yes Oh, a tea set with tea bags. That would be cute too. Mm -hmm. This one has tea bags inside it. Like if you pull out all of this, there, I did like a honey tea that. It's so cute. The little honey stick. Yeah, the stir. Yeah. This is a dye from Scrap Diva as well. This is the, um, I want to say the bow straw topper. It's an older one, but it's one that I keep going back to time and again. It's really cute. And that's the I think I just ordered reversed. that one. I really, really like this one. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, ordered this, um, a bunch of dyes recently. She really knocked it out of the park with her new releases. Um, one of my other favorites are the butterfly dyes. Oh, so I didn't order She that. released its butterfly bows and then a butterfly rosette. Let me find. I have some of the rosettes too. You guys will get a sneak peek actually of what I'm working on. So this is another one of the dies that she released. It's the flower mini album. And I've been working on it to make a shaker. And then, let me see. I have, this is the cover of my mini album. But I really, really like how it's turning out. And I'm pairing it with these butterfly dies, which is one of my new favorites. Uh, this has the butterfly bow. And the butterfly bow comes with two different bows. It's got a small bow and then a larger bow and each bow has four layers to it. So it's an eight piece kit. So it's really, really versatile. I did not use the bow portion on this, but I did layer it with a butterfly rosette. And then let me see. With it being so many layers, no wonder it's so stinking cute. Can you do that close up of the butterfly like on the side? I can't so I can see. Yeah. Wow, so, that's really, yeah, really it's got a lot of layers to it. A lot. And then that one's pretty thick too. And then this is the rosette by itself. So, Super so how cute. many die sets do you think you own? A lot. <laughs> I don't even. Because it's like a even, shoe collection. I mean, the Scrap Diva alone. I store. Well, I I showed you how I store my dies. Um, yes. I do it in the plastic sleeves along with the magnetic backing. I have. Let me see. I have them stored so I can kind of flip through them in these long baskets. And then if I need a die, I just flip through it like this. So I have four of these baskets of Just Scrap Diva alone. And oh then gosh. I have my unbranded dies <laughs> okay. that I probably have, I don't know, maybe another three of these. I haven't looked through them in a while because uh, lately all I do is use Scrap Diva ones. But um, I would say I have about seven ba baskets that look like this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have oh. a lot. I've been doing it for a long time, too, though. Don't think that I just went out and spent a whole bunch of money on dyes. Um, I've been dye cutting. I think I got my first Sizzix maybe about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. So um, Erica is extremely generous with her dyes when you're on her design team. So I'm super grateful for that. But... Uh, before I started working for her, I would just kind of pick them up in different places. Now, when you're die cutting regularly, it's 
It's important to use quality ones. I mean, you can pick them up for dirt cheap at like AliExpress or Timu or any of those places. Mm-hmm. But quality does kind of matter. It gets really, really frustrating when you're using a cheaper die set and you're running them through the machine and it doesn't completely cut out. It's just, it's annoying. And I don't yeah. know, when you're doing a lot of it, it's just an added step. So, you know, if you're buying quality dies, you really don't have to worry about that. You can even use, I mean, with Erica's dies, I use them on 110 pound cardstock all the time. You are not going to be able to do that with some of your cheaper die sets that you're only buying for a buck or two a piece. Okay. So, yeah, it's something to think about. And, you know, there are a lot of die companies out there that you can find much cheaper prices on. There's no doubt about it. But you're going to be throwing the die away after like the first time. Oh, you might as well just use your cricket for something like that then, you know? Okay. And also, you know, one of the things people often ask, because I do a lot of cricket, like why bother with the die cutting? It is a completely different cut. And I think you're starting to see that as you're getting uh-huh. into the dies. Like it just has a really pressed finish on the edge that you yeah. can't get with, you know, a machine cut per se. It's the stitching. That stitch oh, cut is amazing. It's it's so, so, so cute. And coming from somebody who does not like to stitch, but I love the look of it, I'd pay for him. I would pay for him yeah, time and time finally. again. I love. It's it cute. <laughs> cute. So, I love it. Yeah, no, I was, I, I mean, I, I've been saying this for quite some time. Like, I really didn't see the purpose of doing mm-hmm. die cuts. Yeah, because I had the cricket and the sizing of it. Like I had a hard time wrapping my head around it because I'm like, why would I want to spend twenty dollars on yeah. a on a on one die set that can only do that that uh, size? Mm-hmm. But it's almost like that size is perfect. I it don't is. need to change it for anything yeah. else. You really so, like, don't. Every project that I've done using the die cut, it's been one. It's just like in that mm-hmm. little range. Yeah. It's always the cutest little thing. Like, I feel like yeah. this is a really good representation Perfect. of the die cut. Yeah. It's just like, everything is there. You cut it through. It it fits. It's perfect. Like, there's yes. no messing around with it. You're just cranking yeah. it out uh, mm-hmm. or sending it through if you have the switch. Yeah. And it just, um, all you need to do is, like, figure out your paper. Yeah. Although, I will yeah. say it's a totally different style. Like, it is. I am it still is. trying to figure out, like, what colors to use. And it's so mm-hmm. weird to me because I'm like, it's still a cardstock yeah. project, but I cannot, and never on the first time, like eat this, I'm like, okay, in my head, I thought about this for a long time. I'm like, what colors am I going to use? And now I'm looking at it, I'm yeah. like, oh, man. <laughs> I don't love it. Like, no, it's I'm cute. Good. I mean, now I get what, what all the components are, but mm-hmm. like, I would never pick these colors. Like I, yeah. this is not, I need to redo this and figure it out now, but I don't know why it's so hard for my mind to wrap around what the colors are and, and yeah. the textures and stuff. I don't know. Do well, you find I, that when you do, when you do a Cricut project? I, you know, honestly, when I cut on my Cricut, I don't use as much pattern paper. You are right. Just because you can line it up a little better with the die. Like, I don't really use the snap mat, which I know is a, a you know, possibility for Cricut. It's no, just something it's that awful. I don't do very often. But it's but also just awful, lining up then. the patterns. It's kind of annoying for me. So I'd much rather just die cut when I'm using pattern paper. Okay. So, yeah, I when I am doing Cricut, it's definitely more of like a plain card stock. And you're playing with texture more than pattern, I would say. But my style has always been kind of busy. So this, this works for me, but I'm a hybrid person too. Like, you know, that original umbrella that I made, this whole thing is all crickets. It's all digital with the really? exception of the bow at the top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is some ephemera from the paper collection that I used in here. Uh, the big rainbow in the back. And then I just flipped it. The back is plain, but yeah, this is all Cricut, just a couple of fonts, outlines, and then just layered the ephemera around it. And it's all print and cut from Cricut. 
Very cool. Yeah. So I'm a hybrid kind of girl. I do like my dyes for certain things, but I pull out my Cricut for others. So um, do you have any recommendations for me? So I feel like most of the die cutters that I follow, mm -hmm. the, the style of the projects is definitely very frilly. Like there's yes. lace, there's... Um, mm -hmm. lots of flower patterns and like, yes. and it's all very cute, but mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I'm trying too hard to go into that path where it's not normally my style. If there are sure. other die cutters that like maybe fit more with like my color patterns and stuff like that. Honestly, check out some of Erica's. Erica is okay. kind of a clean and simple. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. Who's another clean and simple die cutter off the top of my head? You could check out uh, the pink ape. The pink she's ape. a little more, yeah, okay. she's a little more clean and simple. Okay. Um, I think that's what I need to do because I, I try so, like, every time I finish, I'm like, I'm neither here nor there. Yeah. Like, it's not my style, but it's also not what I was going for. And mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm I'm not happy with, with the way the project is. Yeah. I think you'd be happier when you start playing with a little more pattern too. I okay. think you're just not used to playing with as much pattern. Like I said, I don't use it yeah. as much on cricket. I'm sure you probably don't either. So um, once you kind of start getting like what you like down, I think you'll be a little happier with the finished product. Okay. So there's a, a request, uh, a couple questions. Let's sure. See. Tam Tam has, what's the best deal for, where is the best deal for a Sizzix machine? So, you know what, Tam Tam, hold that thought, okay? Yeah. Because I have a, um, I have a contact now at Sizzix. So let Ooh. me see what I can possibly do there. So remind me, because <laughs> yes. I'm going to forget. And then Monica says, can you share the names here, Anne, so we can know as well. So you said for to follow people right it was oh shoot yes so obviously oh. erica is the first one that i would start with look into some of her projects she's a pretty clean and simple um she's got some really really cute stuff she's like the die cut queen uh the pink ape is one that i check out a lot um she did, erica did this for me which i think you're right like it's a more like yes clean and simple mm -hmm. um who else Try mommy and me crafts too. She's oh, one of my she's faves. Cute. Yeah, yes. I like her. she's definitely I think one of my she used faves. She to be on the Barely Art Design team. Too, she did. Right? She okay. actually told me to apply for it. Oh, and then yeah. what happened? Because mm -hmm. Patty, um... Patty had tagged me and said they were looking for people, and she knew it's just a glue that I use all the time. So I was like, all right, I'll try out for it. And lo and behold, how that's how we met you. How come she left? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. I know she does design for a couple different. She designs for Fancy Pants, which is another great pattern paper company out there. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Yes. Us. I still need to finish. I didn't add my like little pieces here. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna. Do. I love it though. That's cute. I've I've yet to make one right side up, so uh -huh. that's next on my list. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, all right, well, thank you, Jen. And then hopefully thank you. here, don't forget happily ever after is Friday. And then I saw Celeste posted a little thing. I do have a special announcement in my newsletter, which, okay, can we talk about my newsletter for just a yes. second? So it's so funny because, um, I had this offer, um, on my website. So if you sign up for my newsletter, then you get the grid of squares. And I use the grid of squares for all my off the map projects. So I said, if you sign up for my newsletter, you can get my grid of squares for free instead of paying for mm -hmm. it. And I promise you, like, I'll write a newsletter like once a year kind of thing, right? So for years, I've been saying that. And so just recently, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna yeah. use the newsletter as a way to like really communicate with everyone. Because I feel like, on TikTok, right? Like I'm communicating by with hashtags, mm -hmm. right? And then same thing with Pinterest and Instagram. Yeah. Um, you know, there's only so much. Although um, Instagram, I feel like I'm a little bit more like detailed about it. Sure. 
So um, I started writing out my newsletter and I'm addicted. So I, this tomorrow will be my fifth newsletter. Like it's a weekly thing. So if you want to hear about it, it's got like a couple different things. I like recap my projects mm -hmm. for one. Um, and for that one, like you may have already seen it, but because I'm able, like I have a section to like write about it, I always talk about like other things, maybe repurposing it or whatever else. So a little bit more details on my recap of the projects mm -hmm. that came out. And then there's always like what's coming up this week. So any lives, any anything to look out for, and then kind of just like a personal section. And so I, I have to say, I look forward to writing it each week and I'm, I know I went from saying I'm going to do it like once it. a year, which I was for years. Like, <laughs> it was like a once a year kind of newsletter. And now it's a weekly newsletter. So if you guys want to join, I do have an announcement for tomorrow. So um, you can get it there. And then um, <laughs> Shanette, love the newsletter. And maybe it's because I'm a craft stalker. Yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. I subscribed. Oh, do you? Yeah, I have your newsletter. Oh, okay, then you always know where you can find me too because yep. I tell everybody Absolutely. Like, where I am. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love I, it. Well, do, you, do you do a newsletter, Jen? I don't do a newsletter. I okay. don't. But yours is great. I love it. <laughs> Well, I, it, it feels, I don't know, like it's almost sort of like my journal as well. Cause I don't yeah. do any kind of journaling. And so I don't know, like, I'm really, I, I love it. So you're, you I guys will it. have to keep me honest and I don't know, keep me on my toes about like, not, you know, I really yeah. want to continue doing it. And I, I like, I get like little um, emails back to like responses here and there. Mm -hmm. so it's really nice to know people are reading. Nice. But anyway. Um, all right. Well, have a great evening guys. Thanks for yes. joining. And I will see you um friday i think that's the next time Yay! in person but yeah we'll see you at happily ever after so good night bye bye